a very good morning dear students i hope you all are fine and enjoying the rainy season so students today in english literature we will be doing chapter 5 that is hector hummingbird i will be telling you the story with all the difficult meanings so you all are ready to listen to the story and read the text so open your books on page 45 and chapter number 5 hector hummingbird now you know that birds have different types of beaks you must have learnt about it in your science class you have to match identify and then match the beaks with the different animals now this chapter has a very strong moral and the moral is that he who is not strong enough must be smart enough means don't ever think that as children you cannot help anybody if you plan nicely even you can do the bigger things which no other powerful person can do so coming to the chapter something was sorry something big was happening in the forest hector hummingbird could feel the excitement he flitted over to where oliver owl was sleeping on the branch Hector hummingbird you all must be knowing what is a hummingbird it is a small bird very small bird and it can flit its wing it can move its wing at a very great speed and that is why it is called a hummingbird why because when it uh, flits its feathers the sound came as if something is being hummed hmm, this kind of a sound now hector hummingbird could feel that there was something that was going to happen in the forest there was such thrill in the atmosphere so he flitted over to where oliver owl was sleeping flitted means he flew over to where the owl was sleeping on the branch who is waking me up asked oliver owl grumpily angrily the owl oliver owl asked him that who is waking me up something is happening i can feel it said hector hector asked or hector told him that i can feel that something is happening yes yes and you need me to tell you what it is growled oliver his huge eyes wide open now now oliver was very annoyed because hector had disturbed him he was sleeping and so owl said that yes i know something is happening and you want me to tell you angrily he said he was the wisest owl in the whole forest and hector knew that oliver would know what was happening now hector hummingbird knew that the answer to his question that why there was so much of excitement in the forest the answer was with uh, was with the owl because he was the wisest owl in the whole forest and he knew everything what was happening it's simple yawned oliver the king is coming to the forest for a picnic now buzz off and let me sleep he closed his big brown eyes he said yes there is a lot of excitement or there is a lot of adventure in the uh, forest because king is coming for the picnic and then he ordered him to just fly away the king hector had never seen the king he spent the rest of the morning sipping nectar from the forest flowers and then he heard the sound of voices now the rest of the morning he was uh, flying from one flower to another sipping the nectar you know that the birds or the butterflies they live on the nectar that they get from the flowers the colorful flowers they attract these birds now uh, these insects now he was very excited so he spent the rest of the time the morning time flitting or flying from one flower to another and then he heard the sound of voices he fluttered through the trees until he came across the picnic so he flew uh, uh, through the trees and then he came across he came to that site where the picnic was going on wow there was the king and the queen and even the little princess who all were there king was there along with the king queen and their little princess hector watched from a tree as the picnic continued with footmen serving a huge array of treats and tidbits 
now he was watching the scene picnic scene from the tree he saw that the footmen footmen are the servants they were serving huge variety of treats now of course they are the king and the queen so everything has to be very grand everything has to be very royal so he saw that they were served huge variety of snacks small tidbits of tidbits are small portions of tasty food other servants flitted about making sure everything was perfect for the royal family and few other servants they were moving here and there they just want to make them feel very comfortable they wanted that everything should have been perfect hector chuckled chuckled laughed softly the servants were just like hummingbirds darting here there and everywhere why did hector laugh because he said that the servants are just like the hummingbirds by hummingbirds also uh, fly freely from one place to another they never sit at one place in the same way the servants they were not still they were moving from one place to another to see that everything was well in order everybody was having a wonderful time until the queen looked up into the tree and screamed everything was going very fine all were having good time but all of a sudden the queen she looked up into the tree and screamed what did she see my baby she cried my little girl everybody looked up while they had been so busy picnicking the princess had climbed high up into a big old oak tree and was now on a branch far above the ground while everybody was busy doing their things enjoying servants were busy serving their masters the masters were having good time during that time the little princess what she did she climbed high up in the big old tree save my daughter commanded the king but just as his men ran towards the tree the princess slipped now immediately the king ordered he commanded that save my daughter in all this hustle bustle the men they ran towards the tree and panicking the princess slipped because she also might have heard many panic cries and due to that she slipped from the tree grabbing the branch with her hands she dangled helplessly up in the air now out of fear she no doubt she held the branch with her hands but she was a small little girl and her grip was not very tight and due to that she was hanging helplessly up in the air dangled is to hang uh, in the air she couldn't hold on very long and would surely fall so as i told you that she was small she didn't have much of power in her and so her grip was also not very strong suddenly the crowd gasped gasped is took a deep breath why because she was a princess and anything would have happened to her the king surely would have sued them would have taken an action against them so everybody took a deep breath there way up in the tree was a hummingbird pulling the princess by the dress back onto the branch now this little hummingbird who was watching the activity the picnic activity he saw that what happened to prince princess so in order to save her what he did he tried to pull the princess by the dress but do you think that such a small little bird hummingbird he could have uh, had that strong grip because he too he too was a fragile and he was not strong enough to hold back the princess hector pulled and pulled and his wings hummed and hummed but the princess was too heavy now by the uh, wings hummed and hummed because the hector hummingbird can fly by flitting its wings it was a, a humming is a low continuous steady but continuous sound and he could remain in the air only by flitting his wings but the princess was too heavy though princess was also a small child but as compared to hummingbird her weight was a lot for him he could feel her slipping as her grip on the branch failed 
now the princess could not hold on to the branch for a longer time and hummingbird could feel that her grip was uh, she was losing the grip and what was the result of that she would straight away fall on the ground and could have hurt herself then a voice sounded in his ears he who is not strong enough must be smart enough suddenly he heard some sounds and that sound was of owl owl as we have just read that he was the wisest owl in the forest now from somewhere he could hear that he heard the owl saying that if you are not strong enough you can you must be smart enough means that hector hummingbird was not very powerful but he should have done something he should have used his brains and uh, so that he could save the princess hector glanced around but couldn't see oliver now oliver was not physically present there but his words were flashing in his mind what he taught from him was just striking through in his mind he did however see a strong vine hanging against the tree's trunk hector saw that that there was a strong vine what is a vine vine is a climbing plant and as he saw that strong vine an idea suddenly came in his mind what was the idea in the blink of an eye hector grabbed the end of the vine and as the princess fell he flew with it around and around the princess finally knotting the vine under itself now that strong vine in without wasting any time in the blink of an eye means without wasting any time he just started knotting Not, knotting is tying that strong vine around and around the princess he started wrapping the princess in that vine so that one end of the vine will be attached to the branch so she would be held securely what was his idea behind doing this that she could be saved for some time from falling to the, on the ground only a hummingbird could have flown so fast so hummingbird as i told you earlier also that hummingbird has this quality of flying at a very high speed the more it flits its or the more it moves its wings the more it can fly so probably the hummingbird is the only bird that can fly so fast the more he would fly more he would be able to wrap the vine around the princess everybody gasped as the princess kept falling now still she is falling why because the vine is too long but all of a sudden she is falling falling and the hummingbird he is tying the uh, or he is knotting the vine around her now all of a sudden and she stopped falling by because she was pulled up by the other side of the vine which side the side that was hanging with the uh, branch of the tree everybody gasped as the princess kept falling and then she was suddenly pulled up short the vine held and at that time now the process of winding that vine the process of knotting that vine around the princess it came to an end and she was securely held on the branch of the tree the princess dangled safely in the air now still she was hanging but now the difference was that she was hanging safely the uh, the vine was wound it around her and the other side of the vine was with the tree three of the king's men scrambled up the tree and soon had her safely on the ground again now immediately without wasting any time three of king's men they climbed up the tree scrambled is they climbed up the tree and soon they brought her to the ground safely and she was unhurt thankfully she was unhurt she did not hurt herself the forest was filled with the cry hurrah for the hummingbird now everybody was cheering up for hummingbird because he had done such a great thing hector moved into the castle at the king's insistence now the king wanted to reward hector he wanted to 
pay for what Hector had done for his daughter. So the king, he took Hector into the castle. The royal gardeners planted special flower gardens full of his favorite blooms. And the royal gardeners, what did they plant? Special flowers that Hector Hummingbird liked. And blooms are the flowers which are grown for the beauty. So children, what is the thing that attracts a bird to the flower? It is their beautiful color, bright color and their alluring smell. So all the flowers which Hector Hummingbird liked, they were all planted by the royal gardeners. He was great friends with the princess and they often played together in the forest although she was not allowed to climb any more trees. Now she, uh, Hector Hummingbird and the princess they became good friends. They often played in the forest but the princess she was not allowed to climb any more trees. The reason you know well. The king gave a huge feast and all the guests stood and toasted Hector. Now just to honor Hector Hummingbird, the king, he threw a large party and all the guests, they all stood up and they honored Hector Hummingbird. And Hector hummed with happiness and he was humming, humming is hmm, he was humming to himself with happiness. Then the king declared, from now on, you shall be known as Hector Hummingbird, the hero. And what did the king declare? That from now onwards, from today onwards, you shall be known as Hector Hummingbird. So, the story comes to an end now. And what we learn that though Hector Hummingbird is a very fragile, very small bird, still he managed to save the life of princess just because he used the presence of his mind he had that presence of mind so you also if you think that you are unable to do something never think short of yourself you people are capable of doing that thing so believe in yourself and try to think of a good reason or try to think of a good way to overcome that problem thank you